Um, regulators said some of its clients moved a huge amount of money, like $10 billion out of Russia into offshore accounts. And Deutsche Bank basically allowed it to happen. The, and, and the allegations about money laundering continue. Um, just recently, in November, the bank's headquarters in Frankfurt were raided by investigators. Um, you know you're counting out. Deutsche Bank helped set up the legal accounts as part of this big money laundering, money laundering scheme. So after that, uh, Deutsche Bank paid seven billion dollars for helping set up the accounts of mortgages before the financial crisis. It paid a big fine for violating U.S. sanctions against Iran and Syria. So really, uh, the bank has, has a long record of scandal, to, to say the least. Why are congressional investigators interested in the bank at this point? Well, we don't know exactly, but one of the interesting things that has come out involves Michael Cohen, the president's personal lawyer. It's actually really nice out here. Has pleaded guilty to tax I used to live out here in that apartment that complex. Um, he testified before a congressional committee in February. He said a nice that complex. in early 2014, Trump wanted to buy the, the NFL team, the Buffalo Bills. So we went to Deutsche Bank for a loan, and he gave the bank a financial statement. And according to Cohen, this statement really inflated the value of Trump's assets. Cohen said, Trump did this a lot. Uh, we should point out here that Deutsche Bank was also subpoenaed by the New York Attorney General's office recently. It too was investigating Trump's finances. In three quarters of a mile, turn left on I-9. Yeah, it says it's cooperating with investigators as much as it can. Um, this is generally how it responds to these allegations. The bank is trying to sort of salvage its reputation after years of law breaking. Uh, we also comment, contacted the president's, president's attorneys comment they didn't respond but trump's son eric put out a tweet today he accused congress of harassment he said uh eric trump is the old now, is donald trump jr American that's the oldest of donald trump's children for politicians and that yeah. his father was elected president his oldest daughter is ivanka all okay. right that's npr's jim zaroli jim uh, thank you you're welcome for the first time he only has, Baroness is only child with Melania, right? Oh, look at the train up there. We took a break from editorial cartoons in 2001. He didn't start doing them again until a dozen years later during the trial of George Zimmerman, who shot and killed Trayvon Martin, a black teenager in Florida. Trayvon Martin moved Bell to devote a week worth of cartoon strips to the story. And after the trial, Bell started tackling What did I just hear? Cartoon strips? That's incredibly disrespectful. Climate change and President Trump. Darren Bell joins us now. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what was it about the trial involving Trayvon Martin's death that inspired you to come to the Well, the, the trial of George Zimmerman um, pretty quickly turned into the trial of Trayvon Martin, um, as far as I was concerned. It, it, it seemed like it was like it was a criminal trial of the person who had been killed, and mm. half the country seemed seemed not just ready but eager to find Trayvon guilty to, to to decide that he was responsible for his own death, um, that he because of whatever he had had or had not done in the past, such as being caught with a screwdriver in his backpack, deserved to be shot. Um, and <clears throat> well, how come George Zimmerman shot just, Trayvon Martin? It just seemed to me that there were not enough voices speaking out um, in his defense or in, in defense of reason um, to, to point out that 